Welcome to this session on harnessing the power of Azure Cloud Builds from development to deployment. My name is Zilin, and I'm a program manager at Microsoft focused on gaming. In this talk, I'd like to introduce you to Microsoft Azure's cloud solution for game development. We'll start by looking at how the new normal of remote work is impacting the game development industry. Then, let's see how Azure can solve these problems with game production in the cloud specifically for version control and continuous integration and continuous delivery systems, or CICD. This talk is for everyone involved in game production, especially if you're a studio head or technical lead running tools and engines teams looking to increase development efficiency. In Azure Gaming, we're constantly talking with game studio customers, including our first party studios, to solve the biggest challenges and push frontiers in game development. We're taking all these learnings and making them part of Azure solutions for cloud game production to empower all game studios to achieve more. Now, the big challenge today we're hearing is this. Basically, studios need to re-centralize their game development workflow. What does this mean? Well, game development at its core is a highly centralized activity because you need that fast iteration and that tight inner loop to find the fun and solve problems quickly. I know this very well from my own time in game development for Microsoft. What happens is you develop features, you use version control for collaboration and coordination, then CI CD pipelines crank out builds for testing and review as quickly as possible. Once the build is reviewed, change requests are made, and the cycle repeats. Now, all this activity happened under one physical roof. And you know, for sure, maybe you were already working with remote sites, but most teams were largely co-located, sharing the same high-speed on-premises infrastructure. And that was easier to secure and manage from an IT perspective. But this new era of remote or hybrid work has decentralized the whole process. Now, studios face problems of IT fleet management, VPN access bottlenecks, slow download speeds over consumer internet, systems breaking because response latencies are way beyond what they were designed for on-premises. The result, a slowdown of the production process, and that's bad for business. So studios are looking to re-centralize everything as best as they can and recapture that fast turnaround, and the cloud is the place to do it. Version control and CI-CD build pipelines are the two things we see studios migrating early on in the cloud journey. These systems are, of course, the core of the production workflow. Now, the migration path overall, though, depends on the studio. Some have existing on-premises infrastructure, and they've decided they'll move completely into the cloud, and while they're at it, take the chance to modernize their pipelines. Other studios need to retain at least a hybrid on-prem and cloud model for the long term. Of course, there are other studios that just started up, and their operations are completely cloud-native with zero on-prem investment. In many cases, a migration will be a step-by-step -step journey. Well, you're shipping games, so you can't just drop everything and retool. So you need the option of components you can plug in today and incrementally get to your ideal state on a schedule that you control. So here's our game production solution stack in Azure. And as you'll see, there's a full roadmap available. Our main partner solutions cover a breadth of tools you already use today. So that's available for you in Azure now. For CI CD solutions, from GitHub to Azure DevOps and App Center, our core solutions are integrated with Azure infrastructure like compute, storage, networking, and marketplace offerings like the Game Developer VM. A little more on that later. And this lets you build flexible, reliable, high-performance workflows. Now, just a quick word about GitHub. We're seeing studios explore a blend of GitHub with other version control systems in their workflows. So we're glad we can offer an integrated solution with pretty much anything you would want to use. Finally, in the rush to hybrid work, often security in studios gets neglected. The good news here is Azure has a full stack of industry-leading identity and security features that cut across all stages of the workflow and makes things like studio-wide single sign-on and access control easily manageable from a single control plane. OK, that was a nice matrix and all. But to put it in the game studio context, Here's a high-level vision of a studio working completely in Azure. You're looking at three Azure regions representing separate geographies where a studio staff might be spread across. Starting from the left of the diagram, 
a developer working from home, to the version control and CI CD system, perhaps located close to the studio's physical headquarters, and then on to the right, a producer who's also working from home. Here, the developers are using virtual desktop infrastructure that lets them work directly in Azure through GPU-powered VMs. Parsec, Teradici, and Windows Remote Desktop Protocol are all great choices for low latency, high quality interactivity with your desktops. Now, this helps relieve your IT management burden in a few important ways. Fleet management now becomes virtual, so no need to worry about how to get expensive equipment to your developers around the globe. It'll also solve access and security problems. No more overloaded VPN servers. You'll cut down code sync and build download times compared to over consumer internet and so forth. Now at the heart of it all is Perfort's Helix Core for version control and Azure DevOps, our uh, SaaS CI CD solution. What's powerful here is that the workflow, data, and distribution are all centralized within Azure. You can deliver a huge volume of daily code changes, distribute large game builds quickly, and overall security is enhanced as a result of this centralization. OK, at this point, let's see what this whole in-cloud workflow looks like with a quick demo. Let's take an example of a day in the life of a studio where we have a game in development represented by a sample Unreal Engine 4 project that may look familiar to you. Let's see how changes a designer makes in the game would flow through Perforce and Azure DevOps all in Azure. Right, let's shrink that diagram into a mini-map up in the top right of the screen, and we can keep track of progress. Starting from that level designer who's working from home in one Azure region, this is our desktop, which happens to be the game developer VM I mentioned earlier. This is a new Azure Marketplace offering. It already comes packed with tools like Perforce, Incredibuild, Unreal Engine, Visual Studio, Blender, and a whole lot more. In this case, it's accessed through Parsec, a remote desktop viewing solution. First, they log into Perforce using single sign-on. The Perforce Helix authentication service integrates well with Azure Active Directory, and as you can see here, it's a pretty seamless experience. Then, they sync to the latest revision of the dev branch. Next, up comes the Unreal Editor, and just a couple of simple changes that the producer wanted with some new hollow boards. A quick in-editor test to make sure everything looks all right. Great, and now the assets are saved and checked into the main depot right inside Unreal Editor. And you can't forget those change list comments, so here we go. Great. In the minimap, we slide a little over to the right as the Perforce depot has a trigger that fires on changes to that dev branch and makes a REST call to Azure DevOps to start a build pipeline. Here, you're looking at the web interface of Azure DevOps. Because that trigger fired, the build pipeline comes to life. And we can drill down into the pipeline information to see what's going on. Now, this example pipeline has one job with multiple sequential tasks that you can see labeled on the left column with icons indicating the status of each step. The first thing the pipeline does is to find the appropriate Perforce change list number, then it syncs the code from the Perforce depot at that CL. Now you can view the output of each step interactively like we're doing right now, but it's also logged for later inspection. Okay, now we have all the code and the next task is to actually build the game. And in this case, it's a straightforward PowerShell script to kick off Unreal Automation tool for a headless build. Okay, so you may be wondering where exactly is all this work happening? Well, the pipeline uses build agents, which are either Azure VMs or on-prem machines you can call on to perform all this work. And those build agents can be configured to scale automatically to meet whatever load your pipelines have at a given time. And while this pipeline is building away, let's open a remote desktop session with this build agent and take a peek at what's going on in there. OK, we're in the VM now. This build agent is set up with everything needed to build the game. Here, we can see Incredibuild is installed. Of course, they're a great software partner with a widely used build acceleration tool of the same name that works great in Visual Studio and is also available directly in the Azure Marketplace, so please check it out. You can see in the build monitor that the build task is proceeding as we expect. 
But what's happened in the project in the meantime is another developer has also checked in some big changes at the same time. So we're basically having to recompile some large core libraries. Now that's a bigger change than just moving a couple hollow boards around. So the incredible coordinator here has automatically spun up VMs in an Azure VM scale set. And you can see them in that left window, all in an enabled state. And then the build monitor in the middle of the screen there, you can see work being spread out among all the VM cores available, compiling in parallel to speed everything up. Now I mentioned this VM had everything needed to build the game. So it's been set up with Perforce and a client workspace, Visual Studio, Unreal Source and tooling, PowerShell, and so on. The build agent also uses Azure Managed Identity to log in as the Perforce build account. So even here, identity is securely and conveniently managed for you within Azure. All right, let's hop back to the pipeline and see what happens next. All right, we're back in Azure DevOps and the pipeline's still running. Now we'll speed up the rest of the tasks so you can see it through a full build cycle. And now the build was successful, so the next task is to compress it and pack it up into a single file. It also renames the build file with a simple postfix of date, time, and CL number so we can keep our builds organized. And the final task copies the build file quickly to a central blob storage container ready for downstream stages to consume anywhere in the world. So now we're all the way to the right of the minimap, this time at home with a producer in yet another part of the world. In our workflow, we've got a simple dashboard that shows all the builds available. Now the producer only has a simple business laptop that we're seeing here, not some powerful workstation. So there's an option to deploy that new build to a GPU powered Azure VM for review through Parsec. In this case, it's been pre-deployed, so the producer just connects to the VM through Parsec and starts up the build. They choose the correct map, start the match, and just like that, those hollow boards are now in the build. Another option you saw is to set up your game with Unreal Engine's pixel streaming feature, so the producer can also review a build in browser, at high quality, and at interactive speeds. We'll see that in a different demo app about to load here. We're glad to say we worked with Epic Games to easily and securely deploy your Unreal Engine pixel streaming projects at scale in Azure. We'll include links in our documentation so you can find out more about pixel streaming in Azure. There you have it. A code change made it from a developer in one region, through source control, and through a build pipeline in a central region, and then on to a producer in a third region for review. Now there's a separate short technical demo of this pipeline available, so please take a look at Microsoft's virtual tech demo station for a video called Azure Cloud Builds. Okay, so let's delve into the two central parts of what you've just seen in the solution, version control and the build pipeline in Azure DevOps. Of course, Perforce Helix Core is a popular choice in studios as version control, and we partner closely with them in Azure. The Perforce Enhanced Studio Pack is a great way to get started. It's available now in the Azure Marketplace and is free for use for up to five users. And you can bring your own licenses, of course. It's easy to get set up in various Perforce topologies. For instance, on the left diagram, a hybrid setup where your main depot may be Azure hosted right alongside your cloud CI CD system and with proxies or replicas set up on-prem closest to your developers in different countries. Or the opposite, where your main depot is on-prem with proxies or replicas in Azure regions, again, close to your developers. And yet again, you could set everything up in Azure and take full advantage of throughput and redundancy across availability zones. Now, one great way to get started from on-prem is to use Azure as the cloud backup for your Perforce main depot and all metadata. On to CI-CD. Azure DevOps is our SaaS CI-CD offering that's fully integrated with Azure services. Now, because we depend on Azure DevOps even within Microsoft, it gets regular updates and security patches. Now, this is important because it means your engineering team doesn't have to deal with that. Your technical staff can then focus on making your game. There's also a huge Azure DevOps marketplace for almost any extension or task you might need, or you can create your own. 
Azure DevOps pipelines are YAML-based and easy to get started with, yet flexible and powerful. You can scale up and down build agents through features such as VM scale sets, or like we saw in the video demo, partner solutions like Incredibuild. Our Microsoft-hosted build agents themselves come in Windows, Linux, and even Mac OS flavors. And best of all, it works well with Perforce and integrates with Azure Active Directory for identity management. There's a lot more to Azure DevOps. It's packed with features listed here on the slide. Some studios are also using containers for efficient image management in their Azure DevOps pipelines. Again, we'll give you more links to check out the full range of Azure DevOps offerings. For even more technical examples, please take a look at case studies from Bandai Namco Studios and Game Studio. They've got great information on how they're using Azure to smooth their work from home process and even optimize build licenses. And we'll have more of these on the way as more customers are looking to Azure as their cloud of choice for game production. Links to these case studies will be in the documentation for this talk. We're always sharing learnings with our customers. We're looking at areas such as making Perforce topology setups even easier in Azure, more integrated build distribution systems, a method of distributing huge code bases through disk replication, and so on. And last but not least, we're constantly looking for tighter integration with our software partners, so expect more to come in the near future. I hope you've seen how easy it is to use Azure building blocks for your game production in the cloud and how you can start or continue your cloud journey with us. So what next? Well, please take a look at aka.ms slash Azure Game Production, where you'll find documentation for the pipeline you saw in this session ready for you to try out, plus links to all the information and case studies you saw. We also have deep field technical expertise who can help you with game development topics. And if you're interested in more turnkey services and getting hands-on help to migrate your studio systems to Azure, Microsoft and our partners are ready to help. Please email us at azuregameproduction at microsoft.com. We'd love to hear from you. Before we end, on screen are some related Microsoft gaming talks you may be interested to check out during GDC 2022. It's been exciting showing you how Azure can solve the game production challenges of today. We'd love to see the amazing things we can do together to make your production workflows faster and more efficient. So until next time, keep making those great games. Thank you.